discuss about 2023 CPT coding guidelines for surgery digestive system part 7. In the current session, we will be focusing the CPTs in the range 43279 to 43499. As we know, we are discussing esophagus. Under esophagus, the CPTs are divided into incision, excision, endoscopy, laparoscopy, repair, manipulation and other procedures. In the current session, we will be discussing the CPTs of laparoscopy, repair, manipulation and other procedures. First of all, coming to laparoscopy. Whenever we talk about laparoscopy, it can be any anatomical position. Surgical laparoscopy always includes diagnostic laparoscopy. So, the first CPT in laparoscopy is 43279. It deals with laparoscopy, surgical, esophagomyotomy, Heller's type or with the fundoplasty when performed. And for an open approach, you need to see 4330 and 4331. And do not report 43279 in conjunction with 43280. The next CPT is 43280. Laparoscopy, surgical, esophagogastric fundoplasty. For example, Nissen Taupet procedures. And do not report 43280 in conjunction with 43279, 43281, and 82. And for open esophagogastric fundoplasty, see 43327 and 43328. And for laparoscopic surgical esophageal splinter augmentation procedures, placement of splinter augmentation device, you need to refer these following CPTs 43284 and 43285. And for esophago gastroduodenoscopy fundoplasty, partial or complete transoral approach, use 43210. Next CPT is 43281. It deals with laparoscopy surgical repair of paraesophageal hernia, including fundoplasty, includes fundoplasty when performed without implantation of mesh. If the above procedure is performed with the implantation of mesh, the CPT is 43281. And to report transabdominal paraesophageal hiatal hernia repair, see 43332 and 43333. And to report transthoracic diaphragmatic hernia repair, you need to refer 43334 and 43335. The next is an add-on code, plus 43283. It deals with laparoscopy, surgical, esophageal lengthening procedure. For example, colis gastroplasty or wedge gastroplasty. And use 43283 in conjunction with 43280, 43281 and 43282. The next is 43284. It deals with laparoscopy. Surgical esophageal splinter augmentation procedure, placement of splinter augmentation device, for example, magnetic band, including cruroplasty when performed. And do not report 43284 in conjunction with 43279, 280, 281, and 282. The next is 43285. It deals with removal of esophageal splinter augmentation device. The next is 43286. It deals with esophagectomy. Esophagectomy, total or near total with laparoscopic mobilization of the abdominal and mediastinal esophagus and proximal gastrectomy with the laparoscopic pyloric drainage procedure if performed with open cervical pharyngogastrostomy or esophagogastrostomy. For example, laparoscopic transhiatal esophagectomy. The next is 43287. It deals with esophagectomy, distal two thirds with laparoscopic mobilization of abdominal and lower mediastinal esophagus and proximal gastrectomy with the laparoscopic pyloric drainage procedure if performed with the separate thoracoscopic mobilization of the middle and upper mediastinal esophagus and thoracic esophagogastroscopy 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल लैप्रोस्कोपिक टोराकोस्कोपिक ईसोफेगेक्टमी और आइवोलुइस ईसोफेगेक्टमी एंड डू नॉट रिपोर्ट फोर थ्री टू एट सेवन इन कंजेंशन विथ थ्री टू डबल फाइव वन फॉर राइट ट्यूब टोराकोस्टमी The next CPT is 4, 3, 2, 8. It deals with total 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 or near total with 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 thoracoscopic 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 mobilization of of the the upper, middle and lower mediastinal esophagus with separate laparoscopic proximal gastectomy with the laparoscopic pyrolic drainage procedure if performed with open cervical pharyngogastrostomy or esophagogastrostomy. and do not report 43288 in conjunction with 32551 for right tube thoracostomy and finally 43289 is unlisted laparoscopic procedure esophagus <laughs> next coming to the cpts of repair the first cpt is for 3300 esophagoplasty o plasty surgical repair esophagoplasty surgical repair of esophagus plastic repair or reconstruction cervical approach without repair of trans esophageal fistula and if the esophagoplasty cervical approach with the repair of trans esophageal fistula the cpt is 43305 the next is 43310 esophagoplasty plastic repair or reconstruction thoracic approach previously it is cervical approach now it is thoracic approach without repair of trans esophageal fistula if esophagoplasty thoracic approach with the repair of trans esophageal fistula the cpt is 43312 <laughs> the next is 43313 esophagoplasty for congenital defect it can be a plastic repair or reconstruction thoracic approach without repair of congenital trans esophageal fistula and if esophagoplasty for congenital defect with the repair of congenital trans esophageal fistula the cpt is 43314 one important point is do not report modifier 63 in conjunction with 43313 and 43314 because already here congenital defect is mentioned so you need not append 63 modifier The next is for double three two zero esophago gastrostomy, cardioplasty with or without vagotomy and pyloroplasty, transabdominal or transthoracic approach. And for laparoscopic approach, use four three two eight zero. The next is for double three two five. It deals with esophago gastric fundoplasty with the fundic patch. Thal. Nissen procedure and for crico pharyngeal myotomy use 43030 the next is for 3327 esophago gastric fundoplasty partial or complete laparotomy and if esophago gastric fundoplasty partial or complete if it is done with thoracotomy the cpt is 43328 and for esophago gastro duodenoscopy fundoplasty partial or complete trans transoral approach use 43210 the next is 43330 esophago myotomy abdominal approach and for laparoscopic esophago myotomy procedure use 43279 the next is 43331 esophagotomy thoracic approach and for thoracoscopic esophagotomy use 32665 the next is 4332 repair paraesophageal hiatal hernia including fundoplication via laparotomy except neonatal without implantation of mesh or other processes If the procedure is performed with implantation of mesh or other processes, use four double three double three. And for neonatal diaphragmatic hernia repair, for neonatal diaphragmatic hernia repair, use the CPT three nine five zero three. The next is four triple three four. Repair paraesophageal hiatal hernia, including fundoplication via thoracotomy, except neonatal, 
without implantation of mesh or other processes. And if the procedure is performed with implantation of mesh and other processes, the CPT is 4335. And for neonatal diaphragmatic hernia repair, use 39503. The next is 4336. It deals with repair paraesophageal hiatal hernia via thoracoabdominal incision, except neonatal without implantation of mesh or other processes. If it is done with implantation of mesh and other processes, the CPT is 4337. The next is an add on code plus 4338 esophageal lengthening procedure. For example, colis gastroplasty or wedge gastroplasty. And use 4338 in conjunction with 43280 and in the series 433272, 433370. The next CPT is 43340. Esophago geogenostomy without total gastrectomy, abdominal approach. And for esophago geogenostomy, Without total gastrectomy, thoracic approach, the CPT is 43341. The next is 43351. Esophagostomy, fistulization of esophagus, external thoracic approach. And for cervical approach, the CPT is 43352. The next is 43360. Gastrointestinal reconstruction for previous esophagectomy. For obstructing esophageal lesion or fistula or for previous esophageal exclusion with the stomach, with or without pyloroplasty, with the colon interposition or small intestine reconstruction, including intestinal mobilization, preparation and anastosmosis. The next CPT is 43400. It deals with ligation direct esophageal varices. The next CPT is 43405, ligation or stapling at gastroesophageal junction for pre-existing esophageal perforation. The next is 43410, it deals with suture of esophageal wound or injury cervical approach. The next is 43415, it deals with suture of esophageal wound or injury transthoracic or transabdominal approach. The next is 43420, closure of esophagostomy or fistula cervical approach. And if it is transthoracic or transabdominal approach, report 43425. And to report transabdominal paraesophageal hiatal hernia repair, see 43332 and 43333. Let us see a question. Patient presents for closure of esophagostomy. Transabdominal approach. The CPT is 43425. Closure of esophagostomy or fistula. Transthoracic or transabdominal approach. For both transthoracic and transabdominal approach, the CPT is 43425. Next, coming to manipulation and other procedures. First of all, coming to manipulation. For associated esophagogram, use 74220. Whenever esophagogram is part of manipulation, you need to use 74220. The first CPT under manipulation is 43450. Dilation of esophagus by unguided sound or bougie. Single or multiple passes. And for radiological supervision and interpretation, use 74360. The next is 43453, dilation of esophagus over guide wire. The next is 43460, esophagogastric tamponade with the balloon. Finally, coming to other procedures, the first CPT is 43496. It deals with free jejunum transfer with microvascular anastosmosis. And do not report code 63990 in addition to the code 43496. The next is 43497. Lower esophageal myotomy transoral. For example, per oral endoscopic myotomy. Per oral endoscopic myotomy. P-O-E-M. 
and do not report 43497 in conjunction with 32665 43197 43297 43230 and 43235 finally coming to 43499 it deals with unlisted procedure esophagus by this we complete the esophagus topic thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and cpc training